those days where I just have a lot of things on my to-do list and I'm gonna be really busy and I figured it'd be fun to do it vlog style and take you along with me. So I'm gonna get ready pretty quickly because I have an appointment coming up within the hour and don't wanna be late, but still wanna look cute. This is my current favorite tinted hydrator is what it says. It's this one by Tarte. It gives me super light coverage. It doesn't feel cakey and it blends super well. And then I've been using this flat top kabuki brush. I actually got it off Amazon and it's super nice. So as you saw, I did end up going to the gym this morning. I have been trying to do this thing where even on my busy days, I'm still trying to prioritize moving my body in some way. And all I did was I just went down to the gym and just walked on the treadmill for 30 minutes and read my book. What's gonna happen is I will get to the end of the day I will be really tired from running errands and doing things that I'll be like, mm, I'm too tired to work out. I'm too tired to do anything. And it's totally valid to listen to your body if you need a break, if you're tired. You definitely don't have to go to the gym. For me, I know mine would be more of a, I'm not actually tired, I'm just using it as an excuse. I've been using this since like high school. I don't know. I go through phases where I love her and then I hate her and then we fight and we don't, we don't talk for a while, but I'm loving her right now. I'm not the kind of person that's like, you gotta work out seven days a week, but I've been starting to look at it like it's just another thing on my list. If I have to go to a dentist appointment, I have to do that. If movement or working out is something that I want to do for myself, I need to do it and prioritize it like it's any other chore. And that has helped me kind of shift my mindset in working out and looking at Less of like, oh, I have to do this is like, okay, this is like another thing on my list for the day. The NYX setting spray always comes in handy. I like to spray this over any liquid before I apply any powders. This is the number seven lift and luminate triple action finishing powder. Um, I've been using the Daphne has a lot to say. Daphne, come here. I've been using this as a setting powder. It's really nice. Usually I've been using a cream bronzer. I've been using this one from ColourPop, the Styx one. This is technically a foundation, but I use it as a bronzer and it's really nice. But because it takes a minute and I'm kind of in a rush today, my tried and true, my OG, the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. I've been using this ish since high school. Just gives me a nice subtle color. This is the NYX. Sweet Cheeks blush. I use like really generic makeup these days. I used to go all in, but not today, boo, not today. Last few steps, we've got mascara, eyebrow. I think that's it. The NYX Micro Brow Pencil Crayon is, has been a tried and true for a long time. I get the ash brown color, brownish, dirty blonde color. Daph does not like when I do my makeup because she knows I'm about to leave. Y'all see this? This is all, this is an everyday thing. She's like, please don't do your makeup, don't leave. Okay, I love you to the moon and back, but I really can't have you take your cat litter paws on my makeup that goes on my face. I think I'm done. This is what we've got going on. This is like my basic everyday sort of makeup look. I say everyday, but I do not wear makeup every day. What's that Dixie D'Amelio thing? She's like, um, I don't wear makeup every day, but every day that I don't do my makeup, is the day that the paparazzi <laughs> time to fix the hair i just i'm gonna throw some dry shampoo in it and this is gonna have to do favorite dry shampoo ever batiste i think if you have dark hair though it probably wouldn't look not that it wouldn't look good but it definitely leaves a white cast okay let's pick out an outfit because i have to leave in five minutes pretty much i'm obsessed with my abercrombie jeans they're the best okay and i'm gonna go with just a blue tank today it's gonna be really warm today so i'm gonna just put that together and go from there. So I'll see you when I'm put together. Okay, here's my outfit. I did my Abercrombie jeans, Converse. I went for this like rust color tank top instead of the blue. I just liked it better. We've gotta go, baby, I'm running late, let's go. If you're wondering if I live in my car, the answer is yes. I'm actually on my way to my first stop of the day, which is actually an appointment that I have. And my appointment actually is for Botox. I actually have been getting Botox in my forehead for I think going on two years now. Just off the bat, I just wanna make it very, very clear. Like forehead lines are okay. It's not like it's something that has to be fixed. I just want it to be more confident with 
how my face looked when I was talking and being expressive. Not that I owe anybody an explanation for why I'm doing what I'm doing, but I did just want to be transparent because if you follow me on my Instagram, Sincerely Kayla, I very much preach body positivity, you know, not having to Photoshop yourself, not having to alter yourself for anybody. But in a way, as much as I preach that, I'm also like, do whatever makes you feel the most confident or do whatever is going to make you feel your best. So... I'll see if I can like insert some photos or videos of it. I just, again, it was an insecurity of mine. I did it for nobody else other than myself. I just wanted to have a nice little smooth forehead and Botox has been genuinely perfect for that. I'm almost to the place and if they'll let me film, I totally will. It's actually a super easy process. The needle is really, really tiny that goes into your forehead or wherever. It's, it just feels like a little pinch. It's actually not that bad. All right, just finished with my Botox appointment. You really can't see anything other than just like a little bit of redness. Because I was running out the door earlier to make this appointment on time, I brought a Go Macro Bar. I've actually been really loving these recently. I have, what flavor is this? This is the oatmeal chocolate chip. It's really good. So I think I'm gonna have this really quickly while I'm sitting in the parking lot and then I'm going to hit up a couple of shops that are over on this side of town. So after I do a little bit of shopping and getting some things, um, I've got to go get my car inspected. So we're just going to do all of the busy things today. It's seriously so easy to get distracted in Ulta's. Like, it's just so organized and I love it, but I have to find the self tanners. In previous years, when I've done my own self tanning, I've used the Loving Tan and I really, really like it, especially the Two Hour Express. It leaves me with a good color and it's been a tried and true, but I've heard so many good things about the Saint Tropez. I've seen it all over TikTok, I've seen YouTube videos about it, and they have a self express tanner as well. And honestly, the prices are pretty similar, but I think. I think I'm gonna try something new. I think I'm gonna go with the Saint Tropez Express. Hopefully it's good. Usually I don't buy a lot of travel size stuff, but when it comes to my cellar water, I do like to get a travel size one of these. It's my favorite and I just like the little bottle. Another travel sized must have is a dry shampoo. These also go great in your purse. I'm gonna make one more final sort of shopping pit stop. So I'm gonna go run to Target really quick, see if they have what I need, try not to get distracted by the clothes and such, and then I'm gonna go see if I can get my car inspected. I said I wasn't gonna be distracted by the clothes. I came immediately to the clothes section. Okay, is it just me or does this shirt kind of remind you of those weird scrunchy mini stretch shirts from the late 90s, early 2000s? They look and feel about the same. I mentioned in one of my last vlogs that I'm obsessed with these Target matching pajama sets and I actually really like this navy blue color. Um, the black is also nice and the one I have right now is actually this gray one. I have the exact one at home. They are so stinking comfortable. I love. I'm thinking about maybe getting this black one. I mean, I kind of like it, but I'm not sure. I also really, really like this navy blue one, but the question is if they have my size. Okay, so they do have it in a... Oh, okay, the large is actually a long bottom, and I actually want to do shorts. The pink is cute too, but I think these are the long pants ones over here. Yeah, these have the long pants and I want shorts. These are the ones with shorts, but they probably don't have my size. Of course, they don't have my size, so I think I'm just gonna go with the black one. The black is still really cute. I think I just prefer the navy blue, but I think I'm gonna go black. I swear, even when I make a list to come to Target, I still black out and get whatever I want. Oh, 
Although I am in the right area, because toilet bowl cleaner that I like. Okay. It's not totally blacking out, it's fine. Little change of plans. Um, I made it all the way to the place where I was gonna get my car inspected and they said it'd be about a two hour wait. I did not want to wait two hours because I don't know the patience, unfortunately, today for that. And also I'm getting a little bit hungry. Actually, I'm very hungry because it's three o'clock and I have not had lunch. And I just had a, a, like water and a go macro bar. So I'm very hungry. I usually have way more than that. So not a flex. I just have time has slipped away and I've not had lunch. So I'm actually sitting in the parking lot of this place called Fresh Chef. It is one of my favorite places ever. I haven't been to Fresh Chef in a while, so I figured I'm on this side of town. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get something to go. And I got a Hawaiian chicken wrap. My order should be ready soon, and I'm gonna head in and pick that up and then head back home. And I would love to do a little haul of everything that I got today. And yeah, that's it for now. Just waiting for my food to be done. Okay, change of plans again. I just picked up my food box secured almost a bag but it's a box um traffic is really bad right now to head back to my apartment so you know what this is what i do 90 percent of the time anyways i just find a place to park sit in my car and watch some tiktoks eat my lunch and that's what i'm gonna do because i don't want it to get cold especially the fries you know if it was like a salad it'd be one thing but this is a wrap i want to eat it warm so let me show you what it looks like so good can't really see it it's so good the wrap is delicious though lots of veggies chicken and the pineapple is just chef's kiss they also have this what is it garlic aioli dressing it is one of my favorite dressings i crave it all the time i have yet to go anywhere that has a garlic dressing this good and i live laugh love breathe for their garlic dressing it's amazing Mm. so good also anything garlic sign me up 100 percent. i just got home and as i was pulling in i realized i had quite a few packages downstairs so i figured i would do a little unboxing a little haul of some of my online shopping and also show you guys everything that i got today on my little shopping excursion i am actually going to california already next weekend which is so insane i literally thought i had a couple of weeks before i was going but no it's next weekend i'm going to visit one of my friends her name is ali she used to live in north carolina and then she moved to la so i'm going to go visit her and i am so excited let's see what we got I ordered so long ago okay i think this is a travel bag let's see oh yes it is it has like I can put some makeup here, I can put makeup brushes, and then it has a middle compartment to where you can store stuff in here. And then you've got the fact that it removes is the coolest. And then there's a third component over here, compartment, whatever. And it also has removable pieces here too. Don't mind Daphne, she has the zoomies right now. But it has two more of these cute little removable is there it looks like it also comes with like a longer strap too or you can just have the handle this is exactly what i was looking for okay next up what is this oh i ordered these are so tiny i ordered these little containers they're not all this small but i wanted them to be it's so teeny. I think this is probably one of the smaller ones, but I ordered little travel size containers just specifically for things like lotions and face creams and things like that because everything I own, for the most part, they're not travel friendly size. So I don't want to take all of them. I don't want to take my big thing of lotion with me. I want to just take the little travel size. Look at this. These are perfect. This is like the perfect size and they come with these little spatulas as well. So I'm able to get um, the product in perfectly. So it actually came with four different sizes and they have the black and white lids as well. And that same Amazon bag, they put so much just in one bag. This, I'm so excited about this one. It's this cute little velvet jewelry box. And I think I got an emerald green color, sort of like my chair here. It's so pretty. Look at this. It has little places for my rings. If I want to put like little studs in there 
and then it also flips down and you could put things like necklaces in here too. So something about mini travel things are my favorite. So this is exactly as pictured on Amazon. Love that. And lastly in this bag is the last thing. Just like I got those little mini containers, I needed leak proof bottles for shampoo, body wash, conditioner, face wash maybe, TBD. I had to get new ones because the other ones were leaky and messy. But what kind of sold me on these, it has a really solid looking cap. This is kind of what sold it to me. It looks like it's double sealed as well. It has like a nice seal on the inside. I wanted to try these out. I I kind of love this and also love the little silicone feel to it. It's gonna be perfect. Next up, another Amazon box. It's always those late night orders that get me. I got a travel mirror for makeup. Just first glance, nice sleek little case here. <gasps> She's gorgeous, darling. Okay, this is literally like an iPad setup. That's so funny. Tap to turn on off. <gasps> oh. I'm obsessed with this. This is fantastic. I have been in several situations in traveling in the past where the bathroom is taken up, someone's in there showering, whatever, I need to get ready. I either use my phone or I use a little compact mirror on like a powder and it just does not cut it. This is about to be an entire game changer, okay? Love, love, love. This is the perfect travel mirror. I'm so excited. I love travel stuff. I love traveling. Ah, I'm literally such a Sagittarius. I don't know. It's true. Next up is this online order from Aerie. You guys know I'm obsessed with Aerie. Everything about their brand makes me so happy. Oh my gosh, I love... Okay, I got this matching purple bathing suit. This is so cute. Do you see the glitter? I love. I kind of forgot I got the same thing in orange. This one is kind of more of that triangle situation. I kind of, I don't know. Oh, it's hard to tell. Which one do you guys like better? Let me know. Do you like the purple one? So you have to vote for color and top style. So like this one, that more like halter, or do you like the orange one? That is more of that like triangle top. I think I like the orange. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to try them on and see which one I like better. The only thing I'm worried about for the purple one is not that I have huge boobs, but they're definitely kind of big. And this is really small. I'm already thinking like right now, just lining it up. And I also just ordered a pair of gray shorts. They were on sale. And I love a good pair of lounge shorts or even wearing out. Ooh, these are nice. Ooh, so cozy, so soft. These are cute. I like these. These are definitely gonna fit. These are a medium. I like them a lot. They are really, really, really soft. Very cozy. That's it for all of my online shopping. Next, I wanna quickly go over what I got today while I was out and about. We'll start with Ulta mini travel things um, and these two being the things that I like to buy mini. So I have a mini dry shampoo. I got these two at Ulta. And then of course I got the Saint Tropez Self Tan Express. This had just so many great reviews and I just wanna try a new self tanner because you know, you already know. But that's what I got from Ulta. Next up, Target. We'll make it really short to the point. I literally got stain remover, <laughs> toilet bowl cleaner, and got a black pajama set. They're just, they're cute, they're cozy. Never would I have ever thought I would spend more money on clothes at Old Navy than Target, because Target used to be everything for clothes. But I ended up getting a whole bag of stuff at Old Navy. First and foremost, I'm not really a dress kind of gal, but I tried on this dress today. It's like a little bodycon dress, kind of, but it's sort of made out of like the same material as the tank top I'm literally wearing right now. And it is so dang cute. And I could totally see myself wearing this with like a white button up shirt, more like the men's dress shirt, sort of white button up, or even with um, like a leather jacket or something. I feel like this would be really cute. So I'm excited about this. Then I got, they had buy one, get one half off on their sports tops. Got a green one and a black one. And I feel like if I don't even wear these to work out, they would be cute summer tops as well. I ended up getting these comfy lounge shorts, very similar to the airy ones, the gray ones. I just have a thing right now for these comfy shorts. I got these in a large because I wanted them to be a little extra baggy and just like roomy and comfortable. So I feel like a medium would have fit me the best. But I got a large just because I wanted them to be a little extra cozy. I went for the brown color, a little tan color. They were only 15 bucks. So I figured why not? Very cute. Then I got so many things. Oh, this top, like very plain, very simple, but super cute when I tried it on. 
This is just a super basic, lightweight, cropped tank. Short torso gang. You know crop tops like this. If I wear high-waisted pants, they end up being like regular tops for me, which is perfect. The last thing are these pants, which I am super pumped about. They are so cute, so flattering. I'm obsessed. They're these high-waisted, I want to say they're linen pants, but I don't know. They are linen pants. They look so good on me. So good on me. They look amazing. And they kind of remind me of like trousers in a way, but way more comfortable. So I'm really excited about these. I was looking for a pair of pants like this for, for a while. On that note, my retail therapy is done for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. I'm going to get a little bit of work done and kind of clean up my space and I'll see you guys later. It's a little while later and I actually just finished cleaning my entire room. I had so many clean folded clothes just like piling up up there on my dresser and I had to put everything away, clean out my closet a little bit and get some stuff organized, so I did that. I think this is a great place to end today's vlog. I'm just doing a little bit of online social media work to kind of wrap up the evening before I get into my book and my relaxation hour or two before bed, but also responding to some comments from you guys on my last video. Thanks so much for coming along with me on these sort of vlog, busy, errand running sort of days. Um, if you guys are enjoying these sorts of videos, I will gladly continue to make them. They're so much fun, and I like that you guys hang out with me on my normal day to day. Feels like I'm hanging out with my friends, getting my work done. Um, love you guys the most. I'll see you in the next video.